Good morning and welcome to the reading of The Legend of Old Bethina by Tommy DePaolo. I apologise now for the delay in uploading this this morning. Um, we had a really lovely weekend away um, at the BBC Good Food Show and going to Christmas Market but now everyone seems to have come down with cold slash flus. Um, so it's been a little bit hectic this morning. But anyway, we get to the story. So, The Legend of Old Bethina by Tommy DePaolo. Every year on the Feast of the Three Kings, January the 6th, Old Bethina visits all the children of Italy and leaves them candies, cookies and gifts. It's said that she is searching for the Christ child. There are many stories about Old Bethina and how she began her search. This is one of them. So this was written and illustrated by Tommy DePaolo. In a small house on the outskirts of a small village in Italy lived old Bethina. She lived all alone and she wasn't very friendly. If any people dared to knock at her door, she never asked them in. I have no time for visiting, old Bethina would say. The children didn't like her either. Cranky old lady, they said, and the way she's always sweeping. That was very true. Every day, every morning and afternoon, old Bethina would sweep with her broom. She swept her little house. She swept her front step. And she even swept her walk all the way down the road. Sometimes a delicious smell of something's baking would drift from old Bethina's house. Whom does she bake for? her neighbours would ask. And some night she thought she heard the singing lullabies. Crazy old Bethina, everybody called her. One evening after old Bethina had eaten her dinner and swept her kitchen clean, she began to get ready for bed. She locked the door and shuttered the windows. Then she climbed into her bed and blew out the lamp and fell asleep. In the middle of the night, old Bethina woke. The room was bright. How can that be? she asked. My lamp is out. My windows are shuttered. But still my house is filled with light. She got out of bed and crossed the cold floor. Then she opened the shutter and a sudden burst of light poured into the room. In the eastern sky, she saw a brilliant star which seemed to grow before her eyes. Hum, said old Bethina, closing the shutter as tightly as she could. How ever to get my sleep and the dark has turned to day all night she tossed and turned and she didn't sleep a wink at dawn old Bethina got up and dressed she ate her breakfast and took her broom as she always did every day every morning and afternoon she swept her little house she swept the front step and she even swept the walk all the way down the road when she neared the road, old Bethina stopped and listened. She heard bells tinkling. It's probably just the wind, she said. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Again, she heard the bells. It's probably just the birds singing. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Once more, she heard the sound. My old ears are playing tricks, she said. Sweep, sweep. <gasps> Suddenly, over the hill, came the most glorious procession, procession old Bethina had ever seen. Camels, horses, elephants and people. A splendid sight. Halfway back rode three royal-looking men dressed in jeweled robes, wearing crowns upon their heads. The procession stopped and the three kings got down. They came up to a frowning old Bethina. Please, said one of the kings in a royal voice, is this the way to Bethlehem? How can I say, said old Bethina. I've never heard of it. And then she began to sweep. We're searching for the child, said the second king. Do you know of him? There are many children, said old Bethina, sweeping still. But this one is a king, said the third. I know nothing of royal matters, she said. Our books have told us, 
said the kings, that when a bright new star appears, the child king will be born in Bethlehem. The star I've seen, said old Bethina, it kept me awake all night. Now, if you excuse me, I have work to do. The procession started up again. Old woman, called a boy who was leading a camel by, you should come with us. The child, the baby king, has come to change the world. He comes for us. He comes for the poor. We're bringing him gifts. Old Bethina stopped. She watched the procession wind down the road. A child king, she muttered. Bethlehem. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Coming to change the world. Coming for the poor. Well, heaven knows old Bethina is poor. Sweep, sweep. Gifts. Only a child. Old Bethina went back into her house. Perhaps I should go and see him. But what do I have to take him? She put down her broom. She got out butter, sugar and flour and she blew on the fire and added some wood and she began to sing. She baked all day and she didn't even sweep. It was almost dark when she finished and then she filled a basket with all the cakes, cookies and candies she had made. I'll take a few coals in a little pot to keep the cookies warm, she said. She put on her shawl and opened the door. I'll take it on my broom to sweep the room clean, for the old ki the baby king's mother will be tired. Old Bethina stopped. She hadn't swept all day. It won't take me long, she said. She put down the basket and began to sweep. She swept her little house. She swept her front step. And she even swept her walk all the way down the road. Then she locked up her door and she gathered up her basket and she pulled her shawl around her and took up her broom. Aunt Bethina was on her way at last and she ran at first, ran and ran, as fast as her legs could carry her. The sun had set, but she still ran. Now the star shone brightly. Her breath came short and her legs ached, but she still ran. A little bit slower, at last she sat beside the road. Aunt Bethina could run no more. I should have left earlier. I'll never catch up, she cried. And where is Bethlehem? She closed her eyes and gave a long sigh. I'll never find the baby king. Suddenly the sky was filled with light and heavenly angels sang. Glory to all the men. The new king is born. Tonight is a night of miracles. Old Bethina rose to her feet. Tell me, tell me where he is, she cried, picking up her basket and broom. I bring gifts to the child. She began to walk, then run again. This is the night of miracles, the angel sang once more. Wait, she shouted. You must help me. Show me the way to Bethlehem. Albafina began to feel lighter. She ran faster and faster, so fast it took her breath away. She was running in the sky. It was a night of miracles. Albafina never caught up, alas. She never found the child in Bethlehem, but she is searching still to this day. Every year on the Feast of Three Kings, January the 6th, old Bethina runs across the sky. There she goes. She visits all the children while they sleep and leaves them gifts from her basket. Then she takes her broom and she sweeps the room all clean. For after all, says the old Bethina, I never know which child might be the baby king of Bethlehem. Have a lovely day. Bye.